Hey guys, what's going on? Eric here from Roy Lead Gaming, and today I've got a few tips for you guys on helping you guys better yourself at Call of Duty. Now, most of these tips are pertained to advanced warfare because some of them have to do with the exosuit and the exo abilities, but for the most part, you can use them in just about any Call of Duty. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Team death. All right, guys, here we are, we're back, up, and on. the first tip that I wanted to give you guys is operates. use your exosuit, use the abilities, dodge. Side dodge, back dodge, forward dodge, whatever you gotta do, just make sure you use those EXO abilities. They really help you out a lot. They can help you get away from gunfights, they can help you get in the gunfights. I, I don't really know why you want that, but see, as you guys can see in this video, um, it didn't really work there, but it got me up that ladder rather quicker than it would have if I would have went up there, but it also kind of didn't help because that guy was easily able to get me. So here, see, we can just dodge real quick right here. And then see if we can kind of get away from it. Um, just, you know, just use that XO ability. Alright guys, for the next tip, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check your mini-map frequently. Not necessarily frequently, frequently, but um, more than once a game, I guess you could say. Because you can see where people are, you can see when people use their XO abilities, you can see if you're being scanned or not. And it's just, it's really helping you be aware of your surroundings. See. As I use my XO ability, you can see like a miniature circle hover around me. What that is, is it's saying that my XO ability is being seen from someone else unless I use the perk Blast Suppressor. Now, that is a good perk in a sense if you're playing like a game where you need to be quiet or something. And see, whenever I was shooting there, it turned to red. So, like I said, it changes quite often whenever you use it, but in a sense, it's actually a really helpful tip. So. Alright guys, for the next tip, what you're going to want is an awesome class that will help you get loads of kills. Now, the thing that's going to help you get loads of kills also will be the type of game mode you play. Now, the best one that I've found so far is Domination and Hardpoint. Those will usually get you a decent amount of kills, and it will help boost your KD if that's what you're looking for. Now, those are both object-based games, objective-based games, like you have to get the flags or you have to take the Hardpoint. But... What else is going to help you is your class setup. Now, my favorite class at the moment is the BAL-27, or the BAL-27. Now, I like it this way. You might like this weapon, but you might like it in a different way, with different perks. Now, this is what suits me, and this is what helps me go ham and get kills, and it's a really, really good setup for me. Now, if I was used a sniper, no, it's not going to be the same for me. Now, you guys might be snipers. I'm definitely not one of those, but... If you guys are really good snipers, might as well go ahead and make that class because that's what's going to suit you. Or if you like the SMGs, the LMGs, whatever it is, whatever suits you. Alright guys, for the next tip, you're going to want to adjust your sensitivity to something that suits you and will help increase your accuracy. Now for me, that's about in between 11 and 13. Now you don't want something crazy like 20 if you're going to be like just normal TDM. Now I prefer like 11 whenever I'm playing TDM or like... 13 if I'm playing search and destroy, but that's what suits me. You're gonna want something that helps you and will help you get all the kills you can with the most accurate pinpoint. So, I know I said I wasn't a sniper, but I just wanted to show you guys this in a private match, and this is just what I had set up, and this is the first class I saw. But anyways, this is what helps me about this sensitivity. Now, if I'm just joking around with friends or something, I'll turn it on to like 18 if we're quick scoping and we're doing trick shots and stuff, but that's what helps me the most. Okay, guys, so for the final tip that I have for you is a secret reload, I guess you would say. Now, there's a perk out there that's called Fast Hands, and it's supposedly supposed to like increase your... It's supposed to be like sleight of hand, but it's not as good as sleight of hand, I guess I would say. But it's it's more directed towards like throwing stuff and returning like grenades, uh, like frags and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily know if it's actually directed towards reloading. But on PS4, you're going to double tap square to reload quicker. It's not much quicker, but I think it could help you in a gunfight, possibly if you and someone else are both reloading, but normal, or if you're on Xbox, of course, you're going to press X. You're going to double tap X. So, here you guys, on the left, you'll see your normal reload, and on the right, you'll see the double tap reload. 
see you can see there's a slight difference in the both of them but like not enough to like drastically see it. I mean if they're side by side yes you can of course tell because the one on the right usually finishes first so I hope these tips really helped you guys they have helped me quite a bit now if you guys want to see more videos like this one make sure to tell me in the comment section below it really helps us Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video from Roy League Gaming. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to leave this video a like. It really helps us out a lot. And while you're at it, go check us out on social media, including Twitch, so you don't miss out on any future live streams. Thanks guys, until next time.